So this year we entered 2016's 48 hour film competition under the team name Wes and Her Son. We are a team made up of people who have done 48 hours for the past few years um, as a part of school teams so we kind of had a pretty good idea of what to expect from it. This year we got blindsided pretty badly with our film genre. We got given puppet genre. Initially we thought we got screwed pretty badly because we had no idea what to do with puppet genre but as we discussed further on we realized that puppet genre might have been like a really helpful thing because we could have done any kind of film genre movie as long as we had a puppet in it and that's where the idea for Kevin came from. It was going to be about a guy who had a puppet friend and one of them would die and it would be all sad and it would be like a comedy drama kind of film and it would be lighthearted because everyone likes a kind of lighthearted drama kind of thing. So lighting wise we originally intended to use some kind of big um, like softbox type lights but we quickly realized that was going to be quite inconvenient to use as they're really big and they have to plug into a wall so we ended up mainly just using this little CN160 LED light which is reasonably bright um, not too big though and not too soft which made it um, not the most beautiful of lights and the rest of the time we mainly just used natural light which did come at a cost we had to shoot at a higher ISO quite a lot of the time which was a pain in post because it meant we couldn't really grade how we wanted to and it ended up with a bit of a bit of noisy footage but we got through it. When we handed in the film it wasn't very interesting we handed it in a good hour and a half before it was due like no fanfare or anything we got a photo taken it wasn't that good. We were just tired and we just wanted to go to sleep at that point. On Saturday morning we went shopping for props uh, at the warehouse. We were shopping for clothes as well. General set dressing. We aren't really good at arts and crafts. We kind of made a really dodgy sock puppet with like cardboard bits and googly eyes and it kind of shows. Not, no offense to Andrew. But uh, yeah, the sock puppet was kind of, it, it, was, it was average, but it, you know, it, it, it did its job and we ended up burning the sock puppet in the fire. So when premiere date rolled around, we didn't know what to expect from the audience reaction. We, create, we made a film which was a little bit comedic and a little bit sad, and we didn't know if people would like be laughing or just giggling or like wouldn't find it funny at all it was just like dry the entire time but we were pleasantly surprised when when people were actually really laughing at the film and also like we heard gasps when they found out that Kevin the sock puppet had puppet cancer that, that was actually quite a nice surprise for us for sound we intended to use the Zoom H1 microphone which is what we're recording with right now. We didn't end up really using it though, we only used it for a couple of shots mainly because we were too lazy and we didn't have a boom mic which would have been really useful I think. So next year hopefully we'll have a dedicated sound guy on the team and also um, a boom microphone so that we can get real nice audio, which we didn't have this time. With our music, our composer Jack had experience doing 48 hours uh, from years before, and really he would just lock himself in a room and compose music. We'd give him ideas, emotions like of the scene, and maybe a few clips, and that would kind of spark up something that, that we would work with. And um, we ended up getting a really cool kind of synth heavy like electronic sound. That's what he does. But um, the best part would be the montage sequence. It has a very like retro 80s synth heavy vibe to it. And I think Jack did an awesome job with the music. The whole weekend of the shoot, it was raining really hard here in Wellington. 
which made it quite difficult to get a lot of outdoor shots and we had to kind of protect the camera um, whether it was with our bodies or by putting it in a plastic bag. This made it quite difficult to shoot so we had to have some quite short takes and then quickly run back under shelter. The rain however was really cinematic and it looked really cool as you can see in some of the shots of the funeral and it kind of created a fog around the city and it created a cool haze. So yeah, in the end, the rain worked in our favor for the aesthetic. From all the 48 hour films that we've done in the past, I think this is the one that we're most proud of in terms of we haven't regretted everything that we've made directly after it. I mean, we had a few problems with production here and there, but the end product of the end product, we were generally pretty happy with it, even a few days after where you just kind of watch a film and think, oh god, what is that? I think, uh, I think Kevin is actually a film that we quite enjoyed making and watching as well. Oh god, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, I'll use that. Uh, yeah.